Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Factorio tutorial. My name is Rick Negative, and today we're going to cover how to set up Factorio so that it looks good when you record it, or you're streaming it. So this is going to be fairly useless for the majority of people. This is going to be for the content creators looking to create content for Factorio. So let's jump into how you should really set up the game. At least this is my opinion. And to make the game uh, convey correct information and generally look the best. Let's start with graphics. Okay, so first thing, uh, we want to show the minimap. Generally that just gives the, the viewers a nice idea as to where you are in the world. And also, you know, it gives them a bit of uh, spatial relationships so they can see where things are at. Next thing, show pollution on minimap when detailed info is on. We want that turned off. Now, I'll show you why. If we, uh, I just need to load into a game really quickly. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, that one will do. Loading, loading, loading. Right. Now, you'll notice that my mini-map shows up nice and clear. It shows what's going on. You can see all the train lines and all the good stuff running around being crazy. Now, if I jump into this, and we just need to return back to my main factory. Now, you'll notice that on the map, okay, there's quite a bit of pollution around, okay? This is how my mini-map looks when pollution is turned off. This is what it looks like when it's turned on. Now, the interesting thing is that if I go into graphics, okay, and turn this back on, you can see that it makes it much harder to see what's going on, and having this bright red square up in the top right hand corner of your screen really doesn't look good. So what you want to do is you want to have the pollution on minimap, detailed info, turned off, okay? Because the next step in setting up the the game is you want detailed info to be turned on. Oh, I've sent that to the wrong one. Now this needs to actually go to the file uh, depot. Uh, file depot, here we go. Okie dokie. Because what detailed info does is it shows the viewer what is in different things. Okay? So, for example, i got a fair bit going on right here. Now, this, you can see very easily, this has got built in it. This has got a bit of railway track. This has railway track signals and uh, some power lines. If I turn off detailed info, you can't see shit. Like, you can't see what's being loaded right now into this, uh, into this wagon. And you can't see what the, the transport bots are doing. You can't see anything. So make sure you press Alt, turn on detailed info, because that just shows people what's being made where. So... You know, this is concrete. Okay, I can see that. Look, concrete. Over here, oh, we're doing green circuits. And it isn't just a matter of, oh, this is what's coming out of it. Okay, because sometimes you can't see what's coming out of it. And you can't see what's going into it. So you can see here, I've just got these block of factories doing, I don't know. Oh, now I know. So, keep that in mind. Next thing. Go back into graphics. Smoke and clouds. The, uh, I have shadows turned off just for performance reasons but shadows um, clouds and smoke I turn them off now in this factory it's not too bad however in a large-scale factory where you have lots of uh, steam engines you can have this place where the viewer can't see anything basically so I like to have them turned off so that again they can see what's going on rather than just a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of clouds so that was the graphics. Let's move into sounds. Now the next thing, uh, we uh, we want to turn down the alerts volume, okay? This by default is turned up quite high. Make sure it's turned down because it's an annoying beeping sound. Same with the walking sounds. Okay, if I turn them up, whoa, do not restart. Okay, that's, that's, that's the walking sound. <laughs> so that, that, gives quite an interesting effect so we want that turned down and same with the uh, like the environmental sounds I believe or the game effects that's the one okay if I turn these up now I just need to show what happens that 
blows people's eardrums out. So check your sounds, make sure the game effects is down nice and low, the uh, alerts is down nice and low, the walking sounds nice and low. It just balances everything out a little bit nicer. They can still hear the sounds, okay? But they're in the background. So you can hear me walking just faintly. That's all you need. Now, what else do we need? Ah, the, uh, the very last thing that I'm going to cover is if you have channel text. Now, you'll notice that I, my channel text is down at the bottom left-hand corner. Now, this also counts if you have a face cam. Okay, if you want to have something like this, you should probably have it somewhere about there. Okay, not, not over here. Okay, that's no good because you can't see what's going on with the weapons. Okay, this this is fairly important information. Okay, the other option is to place it above that part. So have your face cam in in this kind of area. Oh, you can't see my mouse. Have your face cam in this kind of area here, because this this is unused space, unless you hover over something. So you got to make sure that the um, the GUI doesn't overlap your writing. So that's why I don't use that over there. I tend to like oh, I tend to like having it over here. Now, as I said, you need to clear the you need to clear the crafting bar. So if I was to suddenly start crafting things, you can actually see what I'm crafting. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the final thing that I wanted to cover. So go forth, make lots of content, awesome content for Factorio, enjoy the game, and I look forward to seeing you around.